Well, 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 it looks like Gabby Hanna is the latest YouTube influencer to get called out for photoshopping her pictures and it's something that we definitely need to talk about. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is take a look at what's going on in the YouTube community, try to see what lessons we can learn from them. Because what good is seeing all this stuff happen if we're not trying to see what we can learn and apply it to our everyday lives. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And while you're at it, make sure you're following me over on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul. All right, so yeah, let's talk about Gabby Hanna, I've been getting messages and DMs and stuff like that about this new Gabby Hanna situation. And let's talk about it because it has a lot to do with um, body positivity, self-confidence, all sorts of stuff, all right? So anyways, I'm gonna go back a few weeks ago, I think it was a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago, to H3H3 Productions talking about Instagram versus reality. I think that we're still in the momentum of that, but basically if you missed that video, H3H3, took a bunch of people, mainly women, and showed the differences between what they really look like and what they look like in their Instagram photos. He also threw in Justin Bieber, that might have been the only male that he put on there. But anyways, that whole thing blew up. Uh, Trisha Paytas got pretty upset with H3, and yeah, but I think we're still in that momentum because one of the things that H3 was trying to get across is like, this is not what you look like, all right? But I think he was coming from a good place even though he had some harsh <laughs> words comparing people to sea creatures and things like that. That is not you. The one on the left is on the beach, the one on the right just washed up on the beach. Sorry, again, I'm not trying to shame anybody, I'm just saying, come on people, let's, let's get a grip here. But what he was trying to say was like, listen, like, don't base, you know, your body image on what you're seeing over here because this is fake. So anyways, Gabby Hanna promoting her new album recently and you know, um, she posted a picture and yeah, a lot of people started calling her out. A lot of people were like asking questions and everything and she finally came out and she's like, yeah, okay, I edited the picture. I edited the picture and she went on to do like a side-by-side -side comparison and she even put a list up on her story of everything that she did. So she had on their defocused background, Spine straightened, right hip slightly pushed out for symmetry, back muscles detailed, cropped obviously, bottom half painted to match tan to upper, contrast up, brightness down, A5 filter on VSCO. Here's the thing, I honestly don't know what 90% of that stuff means. When I put stuff up on Instagram, it's just like I select a filter and boop, there we go. All right, but anyways, a lot of people are calling her out for you know, being a, a phony and things like that because something that Gabby Hanna tries to promote to her audience, which, you know, is mainly young women, but also there are some men who watch as well, but she promotes body positivity, but then she's going and doing stuff like this and editing her photos. Now, somebody else tagged me in something, which I'll put up on the screen right here, and they were saying that Gabby Hanna was lying because on her list, she didn't talk about how she changed her arms as well. So. Right here, you can see, you can see that there's a difference between the arms. So the first thing I'll, I'll just mention as far as that, like again, like try to implement Hanlon's razor into your life, all right? Hanlon's razor is do not attribute to malice, which can easily be attributed to ignorance or stupidity, all right? Like, is it possible, is it possible that Gabby Hanna just forgot to add the arm thing to her list of all the other things that she did? Is it possible? Maybe, I'm not gonna go and accuse this woman of lying and if she might have just forgotten to add the arms onto the list. But anyways, this is nothing new. This is not new at all. This has been going on forever. It's been going on in magazines and everything. And like when this came up, again, I couldn't help but think about this clip. <laughs> A lot of you young folks might not remember this stand up or you may have never seen it. But I remember this bit that Chris Rock did from his Bigger and Blacker stand-up special on, I think it was like HBO, like back in the 90s. Who's the biggest liars? Women the biggest liars. Biggest liars, look at you. All of you, you lie, you a fucking liar. You, 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 you. You got on heels, you ain't that tall. You got on makeup, your face don't look like that. You got a weave, your hair ain't that long. You got 
got a wonder bra on your dick ain't that big. Yeah, yeah, like what he's talking about right there. Like this is just something that people do. Like now you're seeing more men in the, the beauty guru industry and everything like that. Like this is a thing that's been going on and now we're just seeing it in the digital age. All right, like people have been wearing high heels and putting in extensions and wearing makeup. Like that is not the natural tone of your skin, all right? That is not what your eyelashes are like. You know what I'm saying? Like your eyelids don't magically look like pink and yellow and orange and all these other things. Like this is something people have been doing forever. And now that we're in the digital age, there are all sorts of tools to tweak and fix and you know, do whatever, all right? Like this is not going to end. This is not going to stop, all right? Now, I do love how there are some people out there who are like, oh, like body positivity and they don't edit anything. So I can understand why people are upset with Gabby Hanna for doing this when she promotes body positivity and like she posts a lot about like going to the gym and working out and trying to eat right and all these other things, but she's still kind of editing her photos a bit, all right? But I don't think it's that huge of a deal, all right? I just really don't. Here's the thing, because since we're not gonna be able to change the rest of the world, we're not gonna, we're never gonna stop. We're never gonna stop influencers from using Facetune or Photoshop. We're never gonna stop magazines from, you know, airbrushing models and everything like that. That is never going to stop. My goal is to help you understand perception versus reality, okay? That's all I wanna get through to your head. Because listen, I remember just in the darkest times of my depression, or just even being in a funk and in a bad mood one day, right? It is so easy to look at Instagram or to look at Facebook and see people posting their perfect bodies or perfect lives, and we're constantly comparing our insides to their outsides. Just remember, everything that you're seeing on social media is not necessarily real. Like there are plenty of commentary channels out there who make fun of people who like rent a, a, like a fancy car and then pose next to it like they bought the car when they didn't. Do you know what I mean? Everybody is trying to make themselves look better on social media. This is something that happens. So you, as the viewer, as the person scrolling through Instagram, all I ask of you is to just recognize it, okay? Do not beat yourself up looking at that. People do not post their worst moments on social media. They're posting their best moments. Like, I'll bring this up until the day I die when these types of conversations come up. I will never forget, I had a very good friend who I used to work with, and every single day she would come in and just tell me about the terrible, toxic relationship she was in with her boyfriend. It was just awful. She was leaving him every other week and just so, so, so bad. But anytime she posted a picture on Instagram or Facebook with him, all she would just type in was like, oh my God, I'm so lucky to have this man in my life. We have the most beautiful relationship. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, people are looking at this thinking that you have an amazing relationship. Meanwhile, they're single and you're miserable in this relationship. You know what I mean? So just check in with yourself when you're seeing these, these pictures that are showing all this stuff. Now, the last thing I wanna to touch on for this video is I was sitting back and thinking, I was like, what would H3 think about this? Or what, what do I even think about this? Like, why, why did I make my last video, you know, and talked about certain things, and why is it different this time saying, listen, cut Gabby Hanna some slack, but like, here's the thing. The problem that I have, the only problem I still have is promoting things like flat tummy tea, right? Like those unhealthy weight loss products. That is what I have an issue with. Promoting those unhealthy weight loss products and then saying like, look, you can have a body like mine, even though it's edited or the person had plastic surgery or whatever it is. Like that is what I have an issue with. Like I, I feel that like, well, first off, those products are just clearly unhealthy, but it would be better if it was more well known, like, you know, th this person had work done. You see what I mean? Like, that's the thing. People who have a lot of money, they're gonna go and get cosmetic surgeries and everything like that. But I just think it's grimy when people promote these unhealthy uh, products, especially, especially with, when so many people around the world are struggling with some type of eating disorder. That is what I think is an issue, all right? But as far as like face tuning and tweaking and Photoshop, 
do your thing, baby girl. Do your thing. Look as glamorous as you want, all right? But as you're scrolling through stuff and looking at it, just realize what you're seeing isn't always reality, all right? But anyways, let me know your thoughts on this subject down in the comments below. Let's have a nice, calm, healthy discussion, all right? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And don't forget to follow me over on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You're all amazing. And if you would like to become a patron, support what I'm doing here and get some other perks and benefits, click the tap right there. All right, thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.